Once you understand how to render simple imaginary forms, how do you go about making them more realistic? Basic Rendering 3 tackles this confusing topic. Yes, we will be studying from photos, but the intent is to be able to paint imaginary objects. To accomplish this, I'll be breaking down material and light into modular components. When approached in this way, you have a checklist that helps guide painting your own scenes. And honestly, no scene has just one object, which is often the way we practice. So we'll explore the additional challenge of painting entire compositions and what that means for our value relationships. So if you want to build on your progress from parts 1 and 2, make sure to check out Basic Rendering 3 in the Control Paint Store today.